Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler, along with Dick Vitale. Welcome to the second round of the NIT. Let's see how this game unfolds between the Air Force Falcons and the Oklahoma State Cowboys. Number one is the key guy on this team. He's definitely someone we're going to watch out for tonight. This kid can beat you on both ends, Brad. He'll score on you on 101 and lock you up on the other. To me, it's the defense that puts this young fella among the nation's best this year. The Cowboys will definitely try and capitalize on his capabilities tonight, Dick. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Now the high screen. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Number 44 makes the shot. Tries for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. The Cowboys are looking at a very tough opponent, Dick. What have they got to do to win? Hey, they've got to do the following things if they want to be successful. First of all, the point guard has to take control of the game, and he has to dictate the tempo and the pace. Second, make sure you eat up the boards. Finally, play your game on defense. Let your defense dictate their offense. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Working it around the perimeter. Number one with the foul. First personal foul. Good teams will get to the line often, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. And he got them both. Feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. On the dribble, gives it up. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. And a momentary look from three-point land. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Easy one. On the outside, the offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. They look to get it to the inside, and he'll kick it back outside. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Trying to feed inside. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to go. They work the perimeter. Defense giving no room from three-point range. He drains the shot. Dumps it in. Turns it over. Pushes it up. Great anticipation defensively. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. For the bucket. He took the defender into the screen, but couldn't get the inside shot to drop. Trying to go inside. Kicks off the lazy pass. He shoots from right of the circle. That was nice. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliating. Poor job defensively. He goes to the line for the first time. He hits the first shot. Second one, good. Yeah. 
Number 10 takes the feed. For two, they still don't score. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Using his size with a power move. Oh, what a power goal. Jump stop, takes the ball with a goal, strong. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Picks off the pass. Gave it up. Number double zero gets the pass. Jump hook from the low post. I'll tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Two. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all in then some. He's obviously carrying his team, Brad. His teammates need to follow his lead and join in on the action. The point guard gets the ball. He pump fakes. And he'll kick it back outside. The shooting guard takes the pass. Off the rim and no good. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Nice high post screen. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. Oklahoma State have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. The frustration right there. Small forward with the ball. Now they work it around the perimeter. Got the shot if he wants it. There's the trap. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Doesn't go. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Trying to get that ball movement. Spacing. On the dribble, gives it up. He puts up the tray. Way off target. up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. The Cowboys have a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Gave it up. Good fake. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming. Intercepted. For the bucket. Buried it. Up and inside. He blocks the shot. Fakes it. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense... And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What? And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Air Force have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the blocked shot. On the outside. For two, perfectly executed. It around the perimeter, moving it around the perimeter. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass.
Looks like we're ready to step back out onto the court. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Can't get the shot to go. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Locking on the box. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. They just can't seem to get a nice look at the goal tonight. They have to be patient on offense and find some easy hoops. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. He launches the bomb. Off the rim and no good. Basin. He takes the shot. He hits the shot. Kicks it out. From the top of the circle, he gets that one to fall. On the outside, he's got an open look for the shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover there. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Goes up for two. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their voice is beginning to fade. Teams looking to get things going here. From right in the circle, way off target. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. For the bucket, can't get the shot to drop. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. He strips him clean. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Executes the baby hook. I'll tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep close position, and the jump hook is so effective. This whole team that's on the floor is quick, but so is the defense, and they do a nice job. In and out. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. Steals a pass. Well, it's just about that time here in the first half for an update. Dick, in your opinion, how is our focus player doing so far? I'll tell you one thing, Brad. You're exactly right. And he has really excelled in every category. But everybody else is just watching. Air Force are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Not a wise decision to take that shot there. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestle. Horrible shot selection. And he'll kick it back outside. He shoots off the rim and no good. Here's the drop step in the low block. Oh, he does a great job using his footwork to get over the top of the defensive player. Put 
puts it up. He misses it. He grabs the rebound. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Now they'll bring it up. Jumps in. He puts it in with contact and all. Looking for a good shot. He's open if he wants the shot. Tries for two. He used the screen to create the space for the score on the inside. Working it around the perimeter. Puts up the shot. Way off target. Trying to draw some contact. Comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Number double zero picks up the foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Gave it up. Got a nice screen. Number two is called for the foul. First personal foul. Up and inside. Controlling the ball. Jumps into the defender. And he scores it off the glass. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork, really excellent on a post player. Good job defensively. He tries the three ball, gets it to fall. shot he shoots from the elbow they just can't find the open seams on the floor they're struggling to score right now didn't give it to him down low going the other way he shoots from the baseline off the rim and no good I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. On the outside. Number 10 is charged with the foul. Second team foul. With the free one. He makes it. Second one is good. Gets his third. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. Down in the low block, trying to work inside. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Looks for the bomb. Way off target.
Looking for a good shot. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. On the outside, entry pass in the paint. They move it into the front court. Oh, what a strip, Red. On the dribble, gives it up. Picked off. the tough shot. I'll tell you, he's knocking him down at ease, Brad. He intercepts it. come with a double team to stop it. Stop and pop. The Cowboys have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block. Hit. I'm trying to three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. With the fake. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. They work it around the perimeter. Gave it up for the bucket. And the ball goes out of play. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they need to lay up. to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He puts it up there. Off the rim and no good. At the half, the Cowboys trail by 17. We've had a good battle so far, Dick. What do you have queued up for our highlight of the half? My highlight, Brad, has to be the great work in the paint so far. It'll be interesting to see who keeps it up in the next half. All right, Dick, let's get back to the action as the two teams are just about ready to start the second half. Number two hasn't really weathered the storm in the first half. He's really only had an average half, and their team is way behind. I wouldn't worry too much, Brad. Don't be surprised to see the offense go through more often in the second half. If there's anyone who can get them out of this blind, it's him. Our focus player update, Dick Vitales, going into the second half. What does he need to do here? Well, I think they got to get him the ball right away and have him attack the basket. I think he's got to be able to become much more aggressive on the offensive side. Looking for a good shot. In the paint. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. The Falcons lead by 17. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. On the dribble, gives it up. I can't believe there wasn't a whistle on that one. Yeah, it should have been a whistle right there. I thought there was definitely an offensive charge. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. For two, he takes another bad shot. Bad shots killed chemistry, Brad. Tries for two. 
I tell you, does a great job getting close position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. With a jump hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep close position, and the jump hook is so effective. Ball handler's in trouble. He takes a three. The shot's off target. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Ball movement, get that good spacing. Picked out of the air. They're off into transition. Looking for the foul. And he scores despite the half. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Top of the circle. Wow, what a super job of running his man into the screen for that sweet jumper. They work the perimeter. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Number one is whistled for the foul. Second, personal foul. Dick, you know, like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far. Hey Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. Too physical. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Is that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, Everybody involved. He shoots from the top of the circle. He gets the board. Takes away the pass. Kicks it out. There's a high screen. He fires it up. Way off target. the defense down on the low block. See, first initially wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebounded position, a good blocked out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Puts it up, looking for contact. Can't get the shot to drop. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locked up. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Oklahoma State are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they've put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. And a momentary look from three-point land. There's the pick. There's the roll. He bombs from outside. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Gave it up. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. On the dribble, gives it up. He strokes it. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. Number two is fired up right now emotionally. Yeah, no kidding, partner. When you have some success, you start to gain some confidence. right there trying to play that passing lane anticipating really well and now there's a whistle
whistle and a foul. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. Executes the baby hook. I'll tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Working it around the perimeter. Gave it up. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. The fake. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. the perimeter on the outside got the high pick for the bucket they still don't score nice fake number 42 with the foul first personal foul Look at this, Mr. Nestle. He has a little something for the opposition. That, to me, is a no-no. He goes to the line for the first time. First shot is good. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. It's the second shot. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. On the outside, here's a double team. Strips the ball. For two. It's good. surprised that they changed things up a little bit, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Stolen ball. Fake. Here, a five-second call forced by that determined defense. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad, before the game, the coach stressed to me this could happen. He told me it's so important for the supporting cast to get involved and not really rely on their one player. Right now, he's trying to get everyone on the bench on the same page. All right, thanks, Aaron. Moving it around the perimeter. Leans in, and he scores it off the glass. That's a 12-0 run. Steal. He brought the ball back down to the floor and stripped him. That's a 14-zip run. There's a double team waiting there. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Takes the pass in the paint. And he'll kick it back outside. He's got a nice shot fake. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Off the rim and no good. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. 
He shoots from outside. Way off target. Oklahoma State are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they ought to keep pushing and seeing if they can't force some time out. On, focus, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Looking for a good shot. Here's a spin down on a low block. I think he's got a variety of moves. Use the sky hook, the jump hook, and now the spin move to the goal. He'll visit the charity strike. He gets it to go. They're shooting extremely well from the stripe tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. Gets two at the charity stripe. They work the perimeter. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. From left of the circle. There was no doubt about that one. And a momentary look from three. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Looking for contact. Contact causes the shot to come off. Big man spins down the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. Gave it up. He tries the three. Off the rim and no good. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. They're working around the perimeter. Takes away the pass. He lets it go. He's typically a good shooter. Yeah, but not tonight. He's got to accept that. On the outside. Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating to the spot. Way off target. Working it around the perimeter. Dickie's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Now they work it around the perimeter. Number 10 picks up the foul. Fifth team foul. He sure does, Dick, and why not? He and his team have all the momentum. I can't wait to see what unfolds next. Hey, hey, he wants everyone to get up. He unloads. The Cowboys have got to continue to get him the ball. That he's on fire. Strips the ball. He pushes it. Tries for two. He buries the shot. From the top of the key. Goes in. Up it inside. Goes up for two. Doesn't go. That comes off. Might have been some contact on the shot. Picked off. Fast break opportunity here. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. 
The ball goes out of play. Boy, assist to turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'm telling you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Jumped in front to take it away. On the dribble, gives it up. Spacing. The small forward with the ball. That'll take some pride on the defensive end. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. They run it up into transition. He hammers it home. Big finish coming here, partner. I'm not going anywhere. Offensively, this is when it's extremely important to have the right people shooting the basketball at the right times. Cross court. Steals the pass. like to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah they're really doing a great job packing it in then a great job man to his shot blocked from behind he set him up nicely he keeps the concentration off the contact for the score picks off the pass pushes it up he starts the, the dunk and one Great job of going up strong to do the contact, baby. Look out, he's in the face of the opposition. I don't know if all of that is necessary, Brad. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. No doubt. Going to move it around the perimeter. Double team now, bad angle. He lets it go. He buries it. <laughs> they go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Gave it up. The power forward takes the pass. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. He shoots from the top of the circle. Off the rim and no good. They're working around the perimeter. Picks off the lazy pass. He fires away. It won't fall. The power forward gets the pass. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. On the outside, the shooting guard gets the ball. Oklahoma State are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Yeah, they're really starting to click on offense. With a stop here, there will be sheer pandemonium in the stand. He strips him clean. For the bucket. The land. This place will be in complete chaos if this defense can get a stop right here. That spin move not successful, Dick. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. On the outside. Tries for two. 
The Cowboys have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. And a momentary look from three-point land for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Time to pick up the defense here now. On the dribble, gives it up. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Look at that spacing. The shooting. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. He misses it. Timeout. They want to talk it over right here. And with that timeout, we go to the third member of our broadcast team. Aaron? Well, Brad, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their players down. I'm sure they're anxious, and they may be a little frazzled. Let's see how it all works out, guys. Thanks, Aaron. Let's get back out on the floor. Two-point game. Gave it up. I think right now, got to focus defensively. Steals the ball. Moving it around the perimeter. Defensively trying to stay with his man. And he's going to pick up a foul. What a poor job defensively. Going slow inside. And they attack him aggressively. He steps up to the line. He makes the front end of the one and one. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Makes the second. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. The lead trickles down to four. Time is either your best friend or your worst enemy at this point, Brad. Here's the trap. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Defense doing a great job pushing the basketball. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. On the dribble, gives it up. He intercepts it. in a two-point game, Dick. And the Pons are starting to sweat, believe me. The power forward handles the pass. Is that what you'd call a next-level play? Well, it's definitely a big-time play in this game right now. Well, Dick, the shots seem to be dropping for him right now. Well, I'll tell you one thing. They're dropping, and you better have good productivity out of your front court. When you have that balance inside-outside, you got a great chance to win. And you have to have post players that are going to make big plays. Makes the shot. All you need is a score and a stop to have a chance. That makes it a four-point lead. These kids are here to fight, Brad. Number five is asking the fans to get behind his team right now. He wants everyone up for the next possession. The power forward receives the pass. 
Well, the game's over now. It's easy to look back at your focus player and say that you maybe picked the wrong focus player. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. It's so essential for the star player to really respond. He didn't respond at all in a positive way, and it affected his teammates as well. Oklahoma State comes away with the W in this matchup. But two teams like this, you knew the game was going to be close. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.